Hello and greets to JP. He asked me, how can I create a bar of set in Cubase? And I'll show you how you do it and why. So here is a short example. And you hear the strings don't start at the beginning, but let's have a look at the strings. So you can see at bar number one, the strings play a key, but we don't hear them at bar one. There is a little delay. So what's going on? Let's have a look at the modulation and you can see the modulation doesn't start at the first key. So I can use the first point and move it directly to the start. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, so this can be the reason why you should start the music before bar one. It is always good to start with all the MIDI controllers before the first note. So when you got some key switches or other things, start before the first note. And if you got automation on some insert effects, let's say you've got bypass or you switch them on and off, you get some settings at Bitcrusher and delays on and on. And it's always good to do it before the first audio signal is coming. So let's do this i move all parts move them to bar five okay but now when you get to play this um and you give the sheet to a musician it starts at bar five so there are a few people who say i don't want to start at bar five i want to see bar number one how can you create an offset okay we go to project project setup and then we have display bar offset let's type in four okay and now we've got this message you have modified the bar set do you want to keep the project content at its bar position let's try it say yes hmm. okay so we've inserted a few bars and here's bar one but now we've moved the music and that's not what we wanted so let's do it again we go to project project setup display bar set four okay now you have modified the bar set do you want to keep the project content at its bar position no and now you can see we start at bar one and we've four more bars before this so there's enough time to send midi controllers and use some automation in insert effects and there's one more thing now let's talk about the time code and i insert the ruler uh, let's let's find that here it is so one ruler you go to here no one higher okay and now you see we are here at this time code eight seconds and 18 frames okay so we want to start here at zero so we can go to the project setup and now display time offset so let's say this one eight seconds and 18 frames okay and the question again do you want to keep the project content at its time position no so now here we are at bar one and time code zero but time code zero is not very good so you see now it's going crazy and it's always better to go to time code one hour and there is another great tool to do this i go to project and now set time code at cursor let's go 
one hour, one minute, uh, zero minutes, zero seconds, zero frames. Okay, let's say no. And you see something strange happened here because we have still the offset. So project setup, no display time offset. Yeah, and now we are at the right time and here it switched. I don't know why oh, it switched. Okay, so now we are at bar one and here one hour. And perhaps you want to have, oh, let's say here. Oh no, let's go to here. You want to start at another time code. Let's say we want to start at five nine. Five eight and no. So one bar before we start two seconds before the uh, zero or before one hour. So this was a short quick tip. When you like this video, please give me a thumb up. And when you get some more questions or suggestions, just leave a comment and see you the next time. Bye.